What's this supposed to be? It's a fossil. Okay. A Martian fossil. Yeah, I get that because we're on Mars. Will, this fossil is proof of extraterrestrial life. Wait, so that means... Yeah. I'm gonna be rich. You're gonna be rich? Oh, yeah. You too. And famous, don't forget about famous. And we're gonna be knee-deep in money and hot women. Who did you dig this out? That's just it. It wasn't me. Somebody else did it. Well, it probably just happened naturally, like an earthquake. I mean, Mars quake. I bet this is a security device. Some kind of laser tripwire. Ed, hey, you're just being paranoid. Dead! Thompson, what's your status? Everything is under control. What do you mean, under control? I mean, I just shot one, and I'm fixing to shoot the other one. deep into Jovis Tholus, one of the red planet's mighty mountains. Mars Base 2 is home to Interplanetary Corporation's crack team of managers and technicians. Welcome to Master Control, the central nervous system of Mars Base 2. From here, team members can monitor security, life support, and local communications. Did you know it takes at least six and a half minutes for a radio signal from Mars to reach Earth? Though millions of miles from Earth, Mars Base 2 features many of the comforts of home. In the Mars Base 2 Recreation Center, Jimmy and Wade enjoy a game of foosball, while Marsha reads the latest fashion magazines. Nice shot, Jimmy. Even the food is great, thanks to the state-of-the-art Mars Base 2 kitchen, and Mars Base 2's resident master chef, of course. Outside, the suit is your home away from home, durable and flexible. Forgot to pack your sunglasses? Don't worry. Tentomatic technology, patent pending, will take care of the glare. Out of the office doesn't mean out of touch, thanks to the suit's built-in communication system. Master control to field team, do you copy? Loud and clear, sir. Loud and clear. For long trips away from base, the old-fashioned internal combustion engine is still the way to go. In addition to gasoline, your vehicle needs its own oxygen supply because of the thin Martian atmosphere. People have asked for years, could there be life on Mars? Thanks to Interplanetary Corporation, the answer is now a resounding yes. Control. I'm ready to begin the docking maneuver. I'm performing...
Mr. Jackson, this coffee is terrible. Well, that's last night's coffee. Mr. Jackson, I've been meaning to ask you, where are your time reports? What? Your time reports. The reports that break down what you work on each week by quarter hour. Tell you what. How about since I'm the cook, you put me down for cooking 30 hours every week? And then you can put me down for answering stupid questions another 10 hours every week. And if I need to allocate my hours any differently, at some point I'll let you... Will! Oh, hey, babe. You're up early. Yeah, I've got a lot of surveying to do, just trying to get caught up. Where's Ed? Ed? Your assistant? Ed, yes, I sent Ed on out to set up some, um, some pre-surveying stuff. scientific discovery in the history of the human race. And let me say that again so we're clear. The most important scientific discovery in the history of the human race. These are fossilized remains. A hand and part of an arm. That's a Martian hand. It's probably been here for thousands of years, maybe even millions but it is proof that we are not alone in the universe. Or at least we haven't always been. Like I said, most important scientific discovery ever. With any luck, I'll be able to dig out the entire Martian fossil in the next couple of weeks. But in the meantime, if uh, anyone is interested in discussing movie rights or book deals, they can get in touch with my agent by a brilliant artist agency in the book. Hey there, Mr. Frank. How'd you get yourself in there? So you told the guy? Yeah, so I told him, you need to cut that shit out, man, if you're gonna get rid of the tennis elbow. I, I don't get it. Tennis elbow, man. Tennis elbow. Shit, never mind. What are we doing here, Steve? Well, I'm about to go help Michelle install a security camera. Nah, man, I mean, what are we all doing here? You ever think about that? A company owns a permanent base on Mars, but all the employees are either management or support staff. What about Will and Ed? That's right. It's all support staff except for the guys out there looking for some place to build Mars Base 3, when they're really not doing anything with Mars Base 2. Whatever happened to Mars Base One? We well, I heard this is Mars Base One. But the marketing department got a focus group in and they like to name Mars Base Two better.
Morning, Steve. Hey. Steve, why is there a bra on the Mars model? I don't know, Lisa. Can you do something about the doors? Which doors? All of them. You know that noise they make, that... Mm. Could that be more of a swish? Like that old TV show? Star Trek? Yes. Don't you think that would sound better? Hi, man. Hey. Let me ask you something. Yeah. I think I'd get caught if I snuck out late one night with a buggy. I didn't know you were such a rebel. I'm not going for a joyride. Picked up some radio signals a few miles from here, thinking it might be an old probe from Earth. Mars is a pretty big planet. Kind of weird that some relic from Earth would be right next door. Nah, I'm gonna check it out. Might be fun. Could use some company if you want to go. <laughs> you should take Michelle. She's the one with the space tech fetish. Oh yeah, how do you know that? Me and her had a thing going for a while. It didn't work out. Neither one of us were really lesbians. Hey, have you heard from Lori? Nope. She's supposed to call today about the new spot. Are we gonna fly in actors again? Of course. I'm not going to ruin a very important company campaign with amateur talent. Hmm. You know, we're probably gonna need to beef up security for that. So I was thinking, you wanna get together and work out the specs over dinner one night? Maybe Saturday? Kevin, you know Saturday is date night for Will and me. Yeah. How's that? Kevin? Nothing. How about now? Still nothing. Steve, get up here and fix this stupid thing. I don't know why we're installing a security camera anyway. Hey, hey. Mars is one of the most dangerous planets in the solar system. We need like 11 cameras out there. Okay, that, that's good, Steve. It's working. Who took out the buggy today? Nobody. Best still working on it. We got company. Let's see. There's not supposed to be anybody on Mars but us. Hey, the zoom on this camera isn't working. I don't think there is a zoom. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, this is a security breach. And we are now at a tactical disadvantage because our security camera does not have a zoom. Try and talk to him, Kevin. See if you can figure out what frequency he's on. Steve, Michelle, maybe you guys should come back inside. Was that? Somebody's outside with a rocket launcher. Lock us down. 
but Steve's still outside. And Lock the door, Kevin. <laughs> Hey, did something just explode? Kevin, I thought you just told me to come in. Please unlock us down. Tell the f***ing unlock us down. What's wrong with this radio? Wrong. Those beeps. Management puts profanity filters on all corporate communication devices. IMs, emails, radio, everything. Oh yeah. I read about that in the newsletter. has a gun. He was gonna shoot me. I doubt it. Breakfast is ready. If anybody's hungry. <clears throat> you know, I'd appreciate it if someone would let us out of this closet. Is anybody out there? Yeah, Lisa, the lock is trashed. Is Steve there? Can you fix it? Maybe. You know, Lisa, I'm still a little pissed you left me outside to get blown up. Steve, I was just trying to follow procedure. Yeah, Steve, you... Shut up, Kevin. Steve, please, understand, I was just trying to do my job. Yeah. I'll go get some tools. Thanks, Steve. So what happened outside? 
please tell me that son of a bitch Jackson got himself killed? Nah, he just saved Steve's life and took down Mr. Rocket Launcher guy. Whatever. You and Beth suit up and go check out the crime scene. <sighs> okay. What are we looking for? Anything I might need to include in my report. What report? I don't know. A lost time accident report. A, an asshole with a rocket launcher report. Just go outside and look around and tell me what you find. I don't remember anything in my job description about investigating crime scenes. It's in your contract. Other duties and responsibilities as determined by management. Oh. Um. That's how they get you. How's the rocket launcher guy? He's dead, Steve. Real dead. Why did Jackson learn to shoot like that? He used to work for the Texas Mafia. Really? Yeah. He doesn't like to talk about it, though. What was that about Texas? Nothing, Steve. Jackson is so stupid. He should have shot that guy in the kneecap. That's what I would have done. That way he'd still be alive and we'd be able to question him. You know, it's... It's actually kind of cozy in here. You know? If I had to be trapped in any closet with anybody, I'm just glad I'm trapped here with you. What's the holdup out there? I'm going as fast as I can here, Lisa. Jones, how's the buggy? It's in worse shape than the dead guy. Are you going to finish fixing this? Hey, man. Nobody eating breakfast? I, I guess not. Uh, I wanted to say thanks for saving my life a while ago. Yeah, no problem. Lisa and Kevin get out of the closet. Yeah, you know, the panel, you... Hi, this is Lisa at Mars Base 2. We've encountered a bit of a situation. We were attacked today by an unknown party, resulting in the death of an employee. Additionally, one of our team members threatened myself and my assistant with bodily harm and detained us against our will for several minutes. Terrible. I, I hate to bother you with this, but the corporate policies manual doesn't seem to cover either of these scenarios. I mean, I assume there will at least be some paperwork to be filled out, but, well, please advise. Thanks. Oh, also, I have an idea for a weekly television show that I think would be good for synergy with someone like Fox or HBO. It's edgy, and I'm working on a treatment at the moment, but I would love it if someone from marketing could give me a call about it. Going. I'm gonna see if the guy that tried to blow us up this morning's got any friends. Steve picked up a radio signal a few miles out. No, we're going to sit tight until I hear back from Lori. And you're confined to quarters. Really, Jackson? Guns? Locking a superior in a closet? Destruction of company property? You're in a lot of trouble. Who the hell's Lori? Lori. Vice President of Off Earth Projects. My boss, our boss. Haven't you seen the org chart? Okay. Here's the old man. I don't give two shits about the org chart, or the old man, or what some bitch back on Earth has to say about the situation up here. And I don't think you'll be confining me to my quarters, or anywhere else, since I am the only guy in this hole with any guns. Maybe. Maybe not. You should have killed me when you had the chance, Jackson. Ow! 
Oh, shit. Hello, Steve. Uh, me and the doc decided I should go with you. Is that right? Well, I told him he should go in case that guy that blew up Michelle hurt anybody else. Look, I'm more concerned the guy that blew up Michelle is just the first in a long line of maniacs out to kill all of us. Doc said the same thing. And that you might need help with computers in case you find, like, an enemy base. Or... You realize Lisa's gonna fire you if you go? Well, I was thinking about that. Lisa almost got me killed this morning. I might be safer if I did get fired. Yeah. Put your helmet on. Is this thing loaded? Be cool, man. I think that's Will. Will! Will? Man, I don't even know where to start. Back at the bait. Will! Can you hear me? Yeah. Will! That guy is such a hole. Jones. What's up? I still haven't heard back from corporate, but in the meantime, I need you to bring the bodies inside. Bodies? Yeah. Michelle, the John Deere. John Doe. Do we have a morgue? No. Well, I guess put the bodies on ice or something, and we might need to do autopsies on them. And I'm pretty sure we'll have to ship the bodies back to Earth at some point. Oh, and be sure to gather all the forensic evidence. I'll do it if you won't, but I think Kevin might be better suited to handle any forensics work. Why? Isn't Kevin the head of security? No, the company sent Kevin a head of security to do paperwork, risk analysis, stuff like that. <sighs> Counting on you. Don't screw this up. Hey, Will. With all the confusion, I forgot you were out there, man. Where's Ed? Will. Is your radio on? Do you want to come in? I take that as a yes.
You all right, man? Need some help with your help? seem to be out of, you know, and I was wondering maybe if you could throw me a roll, please. Yo, Will. Jones, I need you to put these with the evidence. Misa, about that. We're going to have to store these bodies for a while. We'd be better off if we leave them outside. But they'll rot. Actually, they won't. You see, there's no life on Mars. No kidding. What does that have to do with anything? Well, for decomposition to occur... Jones, we... I don't want these bodies left outside. And there's a staff meeting in five minutes. Mandatory. Hey, clean that up. Beth? Yeah? Can you find Ed? We need to get everyone together for a staff meeting. Hey, babe. You okay? Look, I really need for you to... Look, mister, I think you might be forgetting that I am still your... this morning with each other Steve Michelle had sex with a lot of people I mean look it's not like I'm judging her or anything it's not like there's much else to do on this rock you know she and Beth were going at it for a while so I heard yeah I walked in on him a couple of times. Yeah, it was hot. Sorry, Will is under the weather. Beth, where are you? I'm looking for Ed. 
Where are you looking for Ed? I don't know, a couple of miles out from base. He didn't answer when I called him, so I tuned in his tracer and... And you just decided to go out looking for him? Hey, you know, it was your idea. You told me to go find Ed for the meeting. But the meeting's right now. So, do you want me to come back? No, go on and find Ed and try to make it back for at least some of the meeting. Sure. Hello? What are you doing here? The airlock was open, man. Yeah, it's always open. Zillion dollar spaceship, no lock on the front door. Go figure. Sorry. Can I take my helmet off? No blood. 
It just grazed the suit. Hang on. Here we go. Fix it flat. What? One more time. No, wait, 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 wait. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah. I mean, it's not permanent, but uh, it'll last you a couple of hours, maybe. How's your O2? We're good. All right. Here. I, <laughs> Steve. Don't point the gun at anything unless you intend to shoot it. Don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. You sure know a lot about guns. Were you in the military? Yeah. <laughs> no. What is she talking about? Turn on ANN. Who's Ann? I have just made the most important scientific discovery in the history of the human race. Now let me say that again so we're clear. The most important scientific discovery in the history of the human race. Oh, <laughs> all news network. These are fossilized remains. A hand and part of an arm probably been here for thousands of years, maybe even millions. Unbelievable. We just received this video a few hours ago. While this may be an elaborate hoax, our technical experts believe that this is a message from Mars. That's the planet Mars. We have also confirmed that William Taylor of Atlanta, Georgia, is currently stationed on Mars. He is an employee of Interplanetary Corporation. Thus far, officials from Interplanetary on Earth have been unavailable for comment. William! You son of a bitch, get your ass out here right now! Do you hear me? Steve. Steve, this is Lisa. Come in, Steve. me, you Please, Lisa, what? I need to get a door unlocked. A security override. A uh, security override, and Michelle's the only one that can do that. Michelle is dead, Steve. 
Yeah. Um, Mother. I'm not the one who blew her up. Yeah. Nothing. We got atmosphere now. Hey, Jackson? Is it true people really lose control of their bowels when they get killed? Lisa. What? I just wanted to let you know I found some slime. So? Well, I analyzed it and... You can analyze slime, but you can't do forensics? I found a machine to do it for me. Listen, the slime is biological, but it's not human. It's Jones, not... that's great, but right now I have more pressing concerns than mystery slime. It just doesn't make any sense. If this is for real, why no word from Interplanetary? Well, I think it's obvious. Uh, this Will character has gone rogue. He's just gone over everybody's hey, head. Lisa! Okay. When are we going to get back to the meeting? The meeting's over, Kevin. I want you and Jones to get into Will's room. He's in there and he won't come out and no one can override the door lock. How are we supposed to do that? Sledgehammer, crowbar, blowtorch, I don't know, whatever works. Just get him out of there and when you do, bring him to me. Okay, all right, let me get this straight. Sledgehammer, crowbar. Now, if he resists, do I have permission to use Taekwondo? Sure, Kevin. Windows 98. This will be fun. Well, what's Windows 98? An old operating system from like 2003. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Looks like they printed out their emails. Some of them, at least. What did it say? Nothing. A bunch of porn. We can't say shit over the radio, and they get to email porn? Chicks with dicks. Hey, baby, I think I'm gonna take a nap. Which one is she? It's Beth, the mechanic. She's cute for a grease monkey. Yeah, go take your nap. <laughs> you find a dildo on the way. So, you gonna shoot me? No, uh, I'll probably just tie you up or something after a while. Well, you know who I am. Guess you're Dave? Screw you, that's who I am. Could I have some of those? You kidding me? That's probably the last box of cheesy mega puffs on the whole planet. You want to try it? You know, you ladies need to find a hobby that didn't involve my dick. Kevin, what are you doing? Hello? What? I, I 
Hello? I can barely hear you, Kevin. Where are you? Lisa, hey. I am so sorry. I was in the middle of something really big. You're supposed to be breaking into Will's room. Right, right. I know. I, I, absolutely. Jones, I need you to meet me outside Will's room in five minutes. And on the way, I need you to... Uh, I need you to pick up a sledgehammer, a crowbar, and a blowtorch. Yeah, can we just ask him nicely to come out? No. We're breaking in. It's Lisa's orders. I will see you in five. Better make that ten. Hey, Will, you in there, man? Will? Is that you out there? Don't take this personally, but me and Jones are about to break into your room. And about that little stunt that you pulled? Lori called. I think we're all fired. I mean, you could have at least... Occupado! Hey, if this is some kind of weird sex homo thing, I don't swing that way. What is your problem, man? shit. I mean, this is some really, really good shit. I know. So, there's these guys I'm working with, and they've become really slack on the safety procedures. I just, we just had to get out of there. It's just a matter of time before some bad shit goes down. What'd you say you and your guys were working on? I didn't say. Because it's a secret. Beth, this is Lisa. Where are you? Who said that? Oh, it's uh, my radio and my helmet. <laughs> oh. Hey, Lisa. I've been captured. Captured? By who? Beth? Some guy... Dave. It's all right, though. I'm about to escape. Good. Well, while you're out looking for Ed, I need you to investigate any caves that you come across. Investigate for what? I'd rather not get into specifics right now. I think it'll be obvious when you see it. Lisa, won't you just tell me what I'm looking for? Beth, I am very busy right now, and I can't tell you what you're looking for because it's classified. Classified? 
classified, need to know corporate information. If you find this thing, I'll give you an extra vacation day. Oh, well, that'll be great. Yeah, because the only thing more boring around here than work is a day off. Jones, did you find Will? Did you get into his room yet? He's not in his room. Did you check his tracer? Yes, it isn't working. I guess you and Kevin will have to do a manual search for him. Okay. Tell Kevin to meet me in the lab. I thought he was with you already. No, he never showed up. I did find some blood, but I think it's just from Frank. Who's Frank? Frank the cat. We have a cat? Not anymore. Hey, Jackson. What's today? I don't know. They're all starting to run together. No, I mean the date. Um, September 1st. I found a list with all our names on it. It says we're supposed to be dead by today. Well, day ain't over yet. Who's been awfully quiet regarding this Mars... Breaking news. Regarding the Mars story, or the Mars hoax as it now appears, we just received this report from WCLM, one of our Mississippi affiliates. Police raided this house and arrested Pinson resident C. Charles at approximately 3.45 this afternoon on charges of fraud. An internal audit of several interplanetary corporation technical systems led officials to the suspect. First off, I'd like to apologize to the public on behalf of interplanetary. Apparently this Charles character staged his elaborate video that hacked into our Mars communication satellite so that the video appeared to be generated from the Red Planet. At this moment, we're working to improve security protocols company-wide. We were able to get a brief comment from Charles. This is retarded. I'm not a hacker. I don't even, I don't even own a computer. I don't even look like that Mars guy. I'm like a foot taller than him. Oh, son of a... What did you do? I think I underestimated their security system. Look under the keyboard. What are you, psychic? Student of human nature. Oh, come on. Steve? Yeah. Can we get out of here? I'm starting to think this whole place is going to self-destruct or something. Maybe I can find the switch and get the main power back online. Hey, Steve. Maybe you should get down here. I thought we were leaving. As soon as you see this.
What happened to Deckard? Live call? Where are you? I'm en route to Mars. I... Why, why wasn't I informed if I'd known you were... It was supposed to be a surprise. Surprise? Lori, due respect, but this is highly unusual. I know, and as much as I hate to ruin the surprise, I wanted to call and apologize for my previous message. Apologize? Yes, I... Overreacted. I just found out the whole thing was a hoax. Yeah, I, I saw that on the news. Great. Well, again, all apologies. See you soon. Okay. Did you get my message about... Beth? Come in, Beth. What? I just got a call from Lori. She apologized to me. Okay. No, not okay. Lori doesn't apologize to anyone. Something strange is going on. It's got something to do with that cave. Let me call you back, Lisa. I can't hear you. It's probably something to do with this cave. Sanchez. You are? Lori, you idiot. I thought you guys were taking care of the security breach. Security breach? Yeah, that Mars Base 2 idiot found the dig site, or didn't you hear? Dig site? Yes, the dig site. Sanchez, are you getting paid to repeat fragments of questions asked to you? Fragment? No, no. That's good to hear. Now, I've gotten everything straightened out Earthside, but I'm still getting calls from Mars Base 2. Long calls that bitch Lisa will not shut up. Tell me about it. What? Um, uh, n nothing, nothing. Well, where are you? Mr. Sanchez, you need to get with the program. I'm en route. 
Now, will you get the job done by the time I arrive, or will I have to do it for you? I gotta go. Sanchez! Sanchez? You should have paid more attention in Sunday school. What does that have to do with anything? If you remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ from Genesis. Oh, come on. And the Lord created all the creatures of the world, the air and the sea and the earth. I do not recall him creating any creatures from outer space. So if I believed in... If you Kevin, believed in the word Lisa, of one true God, anybody, you would have known from the get... I'm not talking to you, Steve. You're AWOL. Give it a rest, Lisa. I'm on the way back from Mar... Bible that I read. Do you believe in the telephone? There's nothing about a telephone in the Bible. Kevin? Will? Beth. Beth, what are you screaming about? Lisa, I don't know who came back to the base today, but it isn't Will. What? Will is dead. I just found his body, and that body, and some other guy. But whoever showed up in Will's suit is an imposter. <laughs>
Anybody home? Who's that guy in orbit? Uh, Boris? Tell him to prepare for landing, on my authorization only. I'm ready to wrap this up and get out of here. Steve. Steve. 
Huh. Did you know that Lori was in charge of the other base where they were making the monsters? Yeah. Alex, what's taking you guys so long? We still have a couple more living quarters to search. We're having to cut our way into one, because we can't override the... So, are you two the only survivors? I don't know about Jackson. Jackson got killed by one of those things at the other base. Shit. Alex, never mind the search. Get in here and shoot these assholes. Alex? Space 2 calling the ship in orbit. Boris, do you copy? We need an emergency pickup down here. I'm prepped for landing. I just need Lori's authorization. Lori's dead. Could you repeat that last transmission? Lori is dead. Oh, I can't land without Lori's authorization. You bitch! Steve, what makes the stars glow? What? Garage out the airlock. Come I guess you know how to fly one of these things. Mother f***er. I am the progeny of M.